So this question says the function f of t is equal to 60,000 times 2 to the t over 410 power gives the number of bacteria in a population t minutes after an initial observation. How much time in minutes does it take for the number of bacteria in the population to double? All right. So how much time does it take for the number of bacteria in the population to double? Well, let's figure that out. I love whenever I have a exponent in the – or a, var yeah, a variable in the exponent, I love to figure out, well, what happens when t is 0? Right? What happens when that whole exponent is equal to 0? Right? Because if this were 0, then 0 divided by 410 is still 0. 2 to the 0 power just becomes 1, and we get 60,000. So that tells me that when t is 0 – f of 0 is equal to 60,000. Now, what does that mean? That means that that's at the initial point, right? So initially, before any time has passed, the, bacteria, the number of bacteria in the population is equal to 60,000. So how do I get to 120,000? Well, let me erase this. It looks like as long as I can multiply 60,000 times 2, I'll be at 120,000. So how, what does T have to be here in order for me just to have a 60,000 times 2? Well, if T were 410, then that would be, again, 410 over 410, which is just equal to 1. 2 to the first power is just equal to 2. And then 60,000 times 2 would give me my 120,000, which would be a double. So in essence, T has to equal 410 minutes in order for F of basically 410 to equal 120,000. There's a much more complicated way to answer this question, but I think this is a better way forward. Um, I think it's set up for you to answer it in a much faster way than for us to use like logarithms or something like that, which would be necessary otherwise. Um, I could have, for instance, just so you can see it, in case this is a path you decided to go down, I could have said, well, if I know that this needs to be 120,000, because that's what it takes to double from my 60,000, then I'd have 120,000 equals 60,000, 2 to the t over 410. I'd then divide both sides by 60,000. So I'd have 2 equals 2 to the t over 410. And then here, traditionally, you would use a logarithm. You would log both sides and do a lot of other fancy math here. I just don't think it's really required, right? So doubling is pretty simple. If I, Again, if you use this idea of always figuring out how to make this exponent here equal to zero so that you know what you're initially starting off with, I've typically found great success on this test by starting off there and then utilizing that information to figure out what the correct answer is.